um hello there everyone and welcome to the third part uh, fourth part i'm um, sorry fourth part of this uh, video tutorial series on opengl 2d snake game programming and in the last part of this series we um, created this uh, grid grid on this window um if you have not seen the third part um, i recommend you to see this and now in this part uh, we're going to work on animation and uh, some basic uh, and setting up uh, setting up our desired FPS for our game so um, if you're not familiar with FPS um, I'll tell you uh, FPS is a uh, short for frames per second so uh, it just means how much frames are displayed in one second so in our code here um, we swept the buffers at the end of the display callback so a new frame is displayed at the end of the display callback and so each time uh, so the number of times the display callback in our uh, in our program is called in one second will be our FPS here so why do we need FPS because uh, we need to move the snake on the screen so here um, uh, what we'll do is we'll move um, the snake one box forward each time a uh, new frame is displayed so we need a uh, desired FPS uh, because we do not want the snake to move too fast or too slow so for here uh, here we'll keep uh, the FPS let's define a constant FPS and we'll keep it 10 so 10 frames in one second so uh, approximately 10 frames in one second and so the snake will move uh, 10 boxes in one second so now uh, to set up this FPS and stuff you need to be uh, familiar with uh, what is um, glut timer function so the timer function uh, registers a callback which is to be triggered um, after the specified number of milliseconds have passed so this is uh, unlike the display and reshape function this has to be regist registered again if you want to call this again so this is called only once you register this from the timer function this is called and that's all uh, it will not be called again and uh, but in case of reshape and display function you re register this function and they'll be called whenever necessary so to this uh, use the timer function if you see the type of the timer function here we get a void returning function with an integer argument so we def declare a sim similar function here timer timer callback and an integer argument is taken in and so we'll register it so uh, for the first time when the timer function is called the first frame when it will be displayed um, we don't no do not want any delay so the first argument will be the number of milliseconds so zero milliseconds and it will be displayed as soon as the program um, starts and the next argument the function pointer will be um, timer callback and the third argument is the integer value which is passed here to the function if you want to use this so we do not want um, we are we have to do nothing with the integer value which we're passing so we'll keep it zero I'm sorry um, yeah uh, so we registered the timer function first uh, for the first time and now we'll define it down here Uh, we'll not uh, define or declare any variables here because we're not using anything um, and so in the time of callback um, you'll call a function which is glut post redisplay so what this glut post redisplay function does is that it gives OpenGL an urge to call the display function um, as soon as possible so when you call this function the display function will be called so each time the time of callback function is called the display function is uh, to be called next um, and this uh, and so a new frame will be displayed each time the time of callback function is called so uh, it is it is it has been called for the first time from the main function when it was registered so now it is unregistered and um, you can register this again here at the, uh, inside the callback itself to form a continuous loop of uh, frames being displayed um, after 100 uh, after a specified number of uh, milliseconds so display uh, use the glut timer function again here so uh, 
we want 10 frames in one second and it takes argument in the form of milliseconds after which the frame is to be displayed so what we'll do is um, um, we know that uh, one second has 1000 milliseconds so uh, and we want 10 frames in one second so the number of sec milliseconds after which a frame will be should be displayed will be 1000 divided by fps uh, and the timer function now timer callback will register it from inside the function itself and the next argument will be the integer value which is to be passed so we'll keep it zero so this will so now mm, in this window the difference is that the display function is being called uh, 10 times in, in one second so a frame is being displayed from the display function um, and uh, because we are calling the swap buffers function at the end of the display function so the buffers are swept at this point um, and one more thing that uh, you need to know is that uh, some delay is added by uh, added by the glut swap buffers to the frame um, but that is very little and that gives a higher fps if you don't uh, uh, use any delay in the time or callback function here so we need a lower fps because we do not want the snake to move too fast so uh, we are manually setting the value of FPS here and this uh, may also mean that uh, uh, this FPS is not exactly 10 frames per second because some delay is added by the glut swap buffers some might be added by your uh, machine because uh, because of uh, the processing speed etc and so the frame rate is not exactly 10 frames per second it is approximately equal to that and now uh, um, to test your FPS you can now some draw something on the screen which will move and show animation and stuff so for that you can use an index to keep track of the position and uh, now draw something uh, so to keep it simple I'm using the GL rect D function which uh, draws a rectangle using these two points uh, I'm not going to explain this here this is just for demonstration so it will be drawn at index comma 20 and index plus 2 comma 22 and uh, after it is drawn the after a frame is displayed so each time a frame is displayed the value of index will be increased um, by one and uh, one more thing that uh, uh, if the value of index uh, is greater than 40 because this is the number of screen uh, because this is the value of the screen size um, index will become zero again um, and now you can call this to check if this is working and so uh, we're getting an animation on the screen so this is moving um, 10 boxes forward in one second because the FPS is 10 FP, uh, 10 frames per second uh, and you can uh, change the FPS to see how this works differently um, so this will increase the speed because uh, the number of boxes by which it is moving forward will be increased in one second so this is 16 frames per second so 16 boxes covered and one second and you can get this uh, to 60 to get a more smooth animation uh, and this will be too fast now um, I don't think my screen recorder is good enough to record this but so we'll keep the FPS 10 uh, because this is the speed of the snake which we want it is neither too slow nor too fast so it'll work perfectly fine this way and uh, so this was um, all for this uh, part of this um, video tutorial series and in the next part I'm um, which I'm going to upload probably by um, next week or uh, I think uh, I'll have to wait more because uh, I'm having my exams for the next 15 days so I don't know it might take two or three weeks for the next part to be up um, and that is probably going to be on user input um, accepting the user input for the motion of the snake for the direction in which the snake will go so uh, until then goodbye and thanks for watching